Thanks, Shahid. Ooh, I don't yeah, care. I should have got my camera, man. Woo. Will they get a ticket if they run a red light? Ain't it? Will the horse get a ticket? What tag they gonna build? Now look at the horse. Look at the horse. I forgot to tell y'all, I'm in Dallas, Texas. Yes, I ain't do no intro, no none of that. Either way, if you missed my first day in Dallas vlog, you need to go check that out right now, ASAP, this moment, right now. You probably be like, boy, when did you go to Dallas? Why you in Dallas? Well, guess what? Go watch the other video and you will see. Here. <laughs> That is so cool. What is that? Paramount Pictures, they're the ones that be making movies. Wait, Arthur, you no, didn't tell I us how you got it. saved. Is they like... Um, so... So this is the nightlife in Dallas. It looks so cool downtown. It's very big and spacious. Everything is not crowded. It's very wide and very open. And yes, people are cycling. Like... What is a panoramic? Ain't no panoramic. They're literally out, like, period, back to normal. Um, I don't even see no masks on these people. But, however, these people was having fun. And it's not like I don't see people cycling at home because in Florida, there's a lot of cycling. But just coming together like this at nighttime during a pandemic, it's like, wow, who would have thought? And then to see all the lights on their bicycles, and uh, it's just, it's a cool thing to see in another state or another city, I would say. And also, if we look right here at this view right here, they have a lot of great food. I didn't try any one of these foods because I was in the bathroom praying with my family on YFG, like on Zoom, the Bible study group. I mean, we family, we was in there praying and I didn't get a chance to order it was getting late and they were closing and I never told nobody what I wanted because I was just so focused on praying. What's good, y'all? I haven't actually formally sat down and talked to y'all, but I just want to update y'all on what's been going on in Texas. So I got here yesterday. I did a lot of a lot of things for the Lord. I feel like I did for the Lord. And I will share with you guys in another video because I want to keep this video about vlogging. But today, I don't know what's planned. I plan on going to the garden. You guys are going to come along with me, of course. Meet up with my boy, Chris Mack. Chris Mack gets smack. Yo, shout out to him if you're watching this. Um, And I also want to go to a rodeo today. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Half of the stuff I want to do, I didn't get a chance to do it. The rodeo was already sold out. Um, The garden was literally packed. You have to buy those tickets in advance. Like, it must have been tourist season or something because how? Everything was just so packed and popular. So I'm just going to be exploring Dallas. I'm pretty much going to be, you know, doing different things. And yesterday I was with um, some more buddies. But so far, so the air smells way fresher here than it, than it does in South Florida. But I'm not going to lie, I miss South Florida because... I ain't see a palm tree yet and I feel like crying like it's just you don't know how much you really love certain things at home until you get other places because I really like bro I need a, I need to see a palm tree so people have been suggesting me to go to Houston which is three hours away but I might just do another whole trip to Houston but Houston is like more South Florida like I guess because it's more diverse more different variety of foods and different people, different culture, and you know, similar to South Florida, but a different environment. And they got palm trees, and they're not far from the beach. So I need to most definitely learn how to get out of my comfort zone because I'm not gonna lie. I like Dallas, but, mm, but that's pretty much it, guys. I'll update you guys on everything else.
So guys, I'm out by the lake. I don't know if you can see this big behind lake. I think it's called White Rock Lake. So big. It stretches all the way over there. Like all the way back over there. I thought Lake Okeechobee was the biggest, they said. But this lake looked really, really big. Wish I had somebody take my pictures. Y'all need to find a traveling buddy because I'm over here traveling by myself. One thing I can say about Texas is they experience different seasons. Well, I don't know about Texas, but it looked like they experienced different seasons because of the snow the storm that just left. This is really nice. Hello. Hi. One thing about it, I know y'all hate my little add-ins, but Try to spread the gospel everywhere you go to everybody you can because a lot of people didn't hear about Jesus. Some people don't know about Jesus. So spread the gospel at this very park. I spread the gospel to a family of believers and a couple who said that they were believers. So make sure y'all spread the gospel everywhere. I don't care where y'all at. Purr. Oh, and since we're talking, let's get into why spreading the gospel is important. It's important because you don't know if somebody actually heard the truth. Some people may have a misperception of Jesus. They may think Jesus is supposed to provide you with money when he provides you with salvation. So, spread the gospel. Chris Matt, get Matt, say yo. yo. Oh, that is the block? Yeah, this is the block, oh, bro. Wait one minute, wait one minute. <laughs> you gotta get right. My dog finna get right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, Chris got me over here in the country. Oh, this is the middle of nowhere. The middle of nowhere. I ain't see no cows though, but you feel me? You might see some people on the street. And do not stop. Chris, introduce yourself. Tell them who you is. Hi, right, what's up everybody? Um, I'm from Mississippi. Y'all probably can tell by my accent. And I just came from a game earlier today as well. We lost to a game when Bill go kick. I was mad, sad. You know what I said? No, no, I can't even be um, controlled by my feelings. God blessed me with a great game. My boy came over here to pick me up. Yo, you about to go slide to um Dallas Rodeo. Dallas. Rodeo. I said Rodeo. Um, my boy Wade. He got a nice car. That's Wade. Yeah, that's Wade. So everybody over here know each other. Well, I've seen that. I've seen everybody. Hmm. That's a nice. You car took a too. picture right there. Oh yeah, I took a picture right there. Yeah, just said that shit. <laughs> but for real though, y'all follow me. On Instagram and Chris Thankful Now. And I want y'all to join our group chat. Um, You forgot your group chat. You know, we just do Bible studies. YFG Fellowship. Y y y YFG Fellowship. You know, we, we do Bible studies. We talk about things in the world, Jesus Christ, and just proclaim our faith. We gotta flick it up at the rodeo. I go this way. I go out this way. He, he, he got this way. Man, he, he, <laughs> this man got me driving crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know if y'all can see them way. I'm spinning. I'm swimming a little bit. I ain't swimming too much. Look at the cow. Wow. No, that's. Look, we have pluckers, man. I'm giving these people free advertisement. Oh, yeah. er everybody in Texas come here for some reason. Well, everybody in over here in Texas come here. Hey, we the wing tasters over here. We gonna tell y'all how they wings really taste. Lemon pepper wings. Woo. I got a spicy barbecue. But you feel me? I'm gonna let y'all know how everything tastes. Ranch wings. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Hey, we really should have went. We, we we really should have went eating everywhere. Go ahead, talk to him. What you finna say? Hey, now nah, what y'all need? I'm gonna put y'all on something. Crawfish. Crawfish. Oh, there's somebody calling. Yo, we out here eating the fluffers. Yes, yeah, sir. Getting this shot. I know y'all hungry. Watching this video. I know y'all hungry. Y'all see that? This is what they be going crazy over stuff like this. You office? Why do you put my fries in the? Yeah, you got the potato fries. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Lord, I want to thank you today. Everyone buy me the food. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
Let's see. I was about to start out like this. Got that wrench. That wet wrench. You know, plant's my favorite thing, you know. <laughs> Stop playing with it. <laughs> oh. Mm. That way took all the meat off the bone. Y'all seen that TikTok? They be like, eat, 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 eat. Stop, stop. Y'all embarrassing him. Look, man, Chris just told that we up, dude. <laughs> If you ain't talking back to you, you ain't talking. Hey, we in an argument right now. Just talk. Talking? Just talking. What are you saying? I can't understand his language, but it's talking. Too loud. Oh, it's, it's loud enough. I want y'all just experience this with a through the camera. Y'all want some? Damn. Okay, Spice and lemon pepper. Look at the texture. They ain't playing no games. Let the focus on. Oh yeah. Hey, we send it to the group chat. They gonna be like, bro. Finally, they both eating at the same time. <laughs> so after that, we evangelized the two young women who we met at the place outside, and they actually needed the word that we gave to them. It was amazing. Be spirit led in everything you do when you're out evangelizing to people. However, I just want to tell y'all that let God use you because it's going to be a supernatural feeling that you get when he uses you. But this is me outside of Whataburger. And when I tell you this line was thick, it looked like Waffle House after people came from the club. Like, I didn't know people go to Whataburger like this. Like, it was circled around. It looked like a Chick-fil-A on a Saturday or a lunchtime. This is crazy. However, this is the end of day two vlog. Day three, we're going to have a mukbang. And I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Please, I know today was real chill, but you're going to like tomorrow when you see all that food per. So, thank y'all for tuning in to TY Talk. This has been the vlog. I'm going to talk with y'all later.